Hi Gandhi class, I hope you had a lovely weekend. Welcome to your first maths lesson this week. And our learning objective for this lesson is, can I solve division problems with a remainder and use my knowledge of repeated subtraction? Now this word remainder you may not have come across before and remainder basically means what is left over, what remains. So we'll be looking at division, but there will be remainders within our answers. So I want you to get a whiteboard or a whiteboard pen, and I want you to think about how many squares you can make with 17 sticks. Now remember a square has four sides and you've got 17 sticks. So think of it as each square has four sticks. Can you draw this out on your whiteboard now? Pause the video to have a go. Okay, so here we have, We've drawn out the squares with our 17 sticks. Let's count them up to make sure that there are 17 sticks there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, as you can see, we have one here all by itself. And that's because we don't have enough sticks to finish off making this square. So this one here is our remainder. How many squares were we able to make with 17 sticks? Pause the video and have a think. So well done, we were able to make one, two, three, four whole squares with one remainder. Now I want you to have a go at filling out the um, sentences below. So you need to fill in the blanks, pause the video to have a go, and then we'll go through it together. Okay, so we know that there are 17 sticks all together. We counted it all up. And we found out that there are one, two, three groups of four. One, two, three, four groups of four, sorry. Um, and we know they're groups of four because we've got four sticks within each group. We've also found out that there is just one stick remaining. This means 17 divided by four, because there are four uh, sticks in each group, 17 divided by four equals four with a remainder of one. So the astronaut makes stick triangles using 13 sticks. He uses his triangles to help him calculate 13 divided by three. Now he's using triangles. Why do you think he's using triangles to help him calculate 13 divided by three? Pause the video to have a think. Well done, that's because triangles have three sides. So I want you to have a go on your whiteboard how many triangles will he be able to make and how many will, be, will there be left over? Have a go on your whiteboard and then we'll go through it together. Pause the video. Okay, so we know that he's got 13 sticks and we know that triangles have three sides, which means there's going to be three in each group. So let's draw this out together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And we haven't got enough to finish off that triangle, which means that is our remainder. So, how are we going to represent this as a division number sentence? Pause the video to have a go. So we are doing 13 divided by three. Each group has three sticks within that group. And we have got one, two, three, four groups. So 13 divided by three is four. However, there's a remainder one. So it's 13 divided by three equals four remainder one and that is your answer 
So if we can use repeated addition as a method to help us calculate multiplication number sentences, for example, if we wanted to do three times two, we would do two, add two, add two as a repeated number sentence. How could we use it to help us with division number sentences then? Pause the video to have a think. So what we could do is use repeated subtraction number sentences. So Gaura is going to use repeated subtraction to solve 22 divided by four. And we're going to use a number line to help us work this out. So here's our number line from zero to 22. We're going to start at 22 and we're going to take away four each time because we are dividing by four. So there's going to be four in each group so we're going to divide by four each time. So let's do that together. So here's our 22. 22 take away four takes us to 18. So that's take away four. 18 take away four takes us to 14. So again, take away four. 14 take away four takes us to 10. Let's take away four again. 10 take away four takes us to six. Six take away four takes us to two. Can we take away another four? Pause the video and have a think. No, we can't because two is, um, is smaller than four. So we can't do two take away four. Otherwise it takes us into our minuses and it gets very, very confusing. So what we're going to do now, um, or what we can see from this is that because we have landed on two, that represents our remainder. So that shows us what our remainder is. So then if we write this as a, as a um, division number sentence by doing 22 divided by four, what do you think our answer will be? And what will our remainder be? The R stands for remainder. Pause the video to have a think. Okay, so we need to count back the amount of times we've jumped. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Oops. So we jumped back five times in leaps of four. So 22 divided by four is going to be five. And because we landed on the two, it's remainder two. And that is your number sentence using the number line to help you. Okay, so now we've got a worded problem to work through. It says, Hannah has less than 20 balloons. So we know she's got less than 20. She hasn't got 20, she hasn't got more than 20, she's got less than 20. And we know that she's hanging them in groups of four and she has one balloon left over. So how many balloons could she have? Now, there are a couple of ways that we could work this out and we're gonna try and work out pictorially first. So what we're going to do is make one group of four. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so we've got one group of four here. Could we have another group of four and it be under 20? Yes, we can. So let's make another group of four. One, two, three, Four. So we've got four, eight. Could we have another group of four and it be under 20? Yes, we can. Okay, one, two, three, four. So there's our other group of four. So we've got four, eight, 12. Can we have another group of four and it be under 20? Yes, we can. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so we've got four, eight, 12, 16. Now if we did another group of four, that brings us up to 20. But we don't want to be at 20 because we have a remainder of one. So we take those away. And here we've got four, eight, 12, 16. But remember, we need to have a remainder of one. So we're going to have our one balloon here. 
which means that a Hannah could have 17 balloons because 17 divided by 4 equals 4 remainder 1. Oh, that's an R, by the way, remainder, R for remainder. Um, so she could have that. Now, another way that you could have worked it out is by using your four, four times tables. In your head, you could know, oh, I know that four times five is 20, which means take away four from that is 16, and add one could be 17 as our answer. So that's if you're very confident on your times tables, you could have used that sort of method. And it is a bit more of an efficient way rather than drawing it out. So you'll be able to work it out quicker. However, if you're not feeling so confident with that, that is absolutely fine. You're more than welcome to draw them out. Now it's your turn. You need to choose between either activity one or activity two. And then if you're feeling up to it, you could challenge yourself further with activity three. So activity number one is similar to the first two slides of our notebook. You need to make stick squares or triangles to help solve the questions. If the number is divided by four, you make squares. If it's divided by three, you make triangles. And that's because squares have four sides and triangles have three sides. So here we've got 16 divided by three. They've drawn it out for you and you need to give the answer. And you need to do the exact same for B, C, D and E. So you need to write it out, give me the answer with the remainder and draw it out as well. And that's activity number one. Activity number two is using a number line and repeated, oh, that should say repeated subtraction to solve the division number sentences. So repeated subtraction to solve the no, division number sentences. So you'll need to draw the number line out from zero for this one, from zero to 34 and count back in fours. For B, you do it zero to 17 and count back in sixes and so on for A, B, C, D and E. Then activity number three, if you want to challenge yourself even more, we've got um, part A, Naomi has 17 cards. She sorts them into piles and has two remaining. How many could be in each pile? So they're asking you to work out how many cards are going to be in each pile. Hamza has between 20 and 30 stickers. He sorts them into four piles and has three remaining. How many stickers might he have? And C, two astronauts have 50 apples all together. One puts them into bags of five and has four left over. The other puts them into bags of six and has two remaining. How many apples might they have? Now it's important to note that by leftover and remaining, we mean the same thing. So it's going to be a remainder. Please make sure you upload your work to Tapestry and I will see you next time. Bye.